Eight pieces, seven pound fifty. Can you justify that? Riley Sorolla coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm slap bang in the middle of Soho and also Common Garden. And today I'm gonna to be showcasing Wingstop. Last time, I gave it an undecided vote, but this time, we're gonna find out whether I give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. Welcome my fellow Cerulians. So here I am again at Wingstop, just like I promised. If you haven't actually seen the previous video I did, make sure you check it out right now. Pause the video and go and check it out right now. I'll leave the card right there. Or is it there? I don't even know. The last time I went there, obviously, I didn't give it a hit, I didn't give it a miss. I was sitting on the fence, not really sure whether I could actually, you know, promote it to you guys, recommend it. Because the price is a bit crazy, so, this is actually my second time here, second time reviewing this place, and actually my second time actually dining here. So, like, honest opinions here. Now, I decided to go all out because this is a make it or break it. If, if I'm not impressed, this is probably gonna be the last time I come to Wingstop. So, I've gone all out. I've gone for their wings. I've gone for their tenders. I've also gone for their boneless wings. And I tried a different um, set of fries. So, last time I got the Cajun fries, this time around, I'm gonna get their original, which is an unusual blend. It's sweet and salt. So I think they put actual sugar in it. Be interested to see how that comes across. They did have lemon pepper fries as well, but it's only room for one. So I've actually spent a total of 23 pounds and 80 pence. 23 pounds and 80 pence. And I'm just waiting for my order to arrive. So I've got this buzzer and uh, it's lighting up right now. So it's time to go and collect the food. Perfect. So I'm back with the goods. I went for the mango habanero again. Last time I got the mango habanero, I got them with the, the wings, with the bones. This time I got them boneless. Yeah, the marinades, pretty much the same, but boneless. Tuck into this right now. Just like before, it's got a nice, it's got a nice kick. And it's, it's pretty sweet as well. Not overwhelmingly sweet. Mm. These boneless wings for the mango habanero, definitely better than the last time I got them with the wings. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the sauce, but the wings itself, I don't think it went well with the mango habanero sauce. So if I was to come here again, I would definitely get the mango habanero sauce with the boneless wings. Funny how they call it boneless wings. They look more like giant nuggets more than anything. Eight pieces, seven pound fifty. Can you justify that? I can't. I'm only here for you guys. I can't justify that. I don't know, since I've got in here, I've been working up a sweat. Honestly, it's got nothing to do with the mango habanero sauce. I don't think it's that. It's got a mild kick to it. It's not that, it's not that spicy, if I'm honest. It's time to try the famous lemon pepper. So last time I came to Wingstop, I wasn't able to try the the lemon pepper and I've been told that the lemon pepper is like it's really popular it's like one of their signatures a lot of people come here because of the lemon pepper the chicken the wings actually look the same as uh, when I got them with the hamango habanero but I don't know I think this seasoning works a lot better it's pretty simple but yeah I think my assumptions were right when I said that the wings are all cooked the same they're all batch cooked and then they just put on the seasoning after because these wings 
they look exactly like the wings I got the last time I came when I got the mango habanero sauce. So just imagine these wings, strip this lemon and pepper seasoning rub or whatever you call it, and just slap on this sauce on this instead. And it's exactly the same. So my suspicions were right. They are batch cooked and then they put the rub after, which is a bit of a shame because you know, you want to maximize that flavor. You want to cook the season and the rub with the chicken and I can I can already tell that that's that's not what they do but anyway time to sample this lemon pepper okay all right that is so much better you know what I'm so glad I gave the wings another chance you saw how I bashed it last time I was not impressed with the wings whatsoever but this lemon and pepper works in perfect harmony with the wings. I mean, the skin is really, really crispy. Very crispy. Can you hear that crunch? Super, super crispy. Very flavoursome. It's the right level of meat on the bone. This is really good. I'm actually enjoying it more than this. This is actually finger licking good, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't gas you guys. Like this is so far, this is a much better experience. Mm. Now I forgot to mention, I've actually been blessed with all three dips. So each chicken option comes with a free dip. So because I've got three different kinds of chicken, I've got all three dips. So I think this one is the honey mustard. I believe this one is the ranch dressing. And this must be the blue cheese dip. I'm gonna try the blue cheese dip first. Well, I'm assuming it's blue cheese. Yeah, that's blue cheese. And I'm gonna try it with the tenders this time. Now you remember from the last video, the tendos were my favorite. So this time, instead of getting the, what was it I got last time? Brazilian citrus rub. This time I got the, Luz, the Louisiana rub. I'm gonna try it first on its own. That is very buttery. Tastes almost like Cajun. They put Cajun seasoning on it, delicious. Try it with the blue cheese dip. Dunk it in there like so. That's not bad. I think the blue cheese dip does give it a nice, nice contrast. It kind of like tones down the, the butteriness of the tenders. Yeah. Doesn't taste as buttery with the blue cheese dip. If I'm honest, actually prefer them on their own right that smells rank that actually stinks don't like the smell of it but I'm gonna dunk it anyway it doesn't taste that bad but it's not really for me I'm gonna leave that one alone then again, I'm not a massive fan of salad dressing, so not because I don't like the honey mustard. Doesn't mean you won't, you won't like it. I've tried all the pieces of chicken. It's time for me to try the Wingstop fries. Sweet and salt. Oh wow, I can see, I can see sugar crystals on here. I don't know if I give you guys a close up. See that there, that's a sugar crystal. That one there. Yeah, it's quite a bit. So from my understanding, it's a blend of seasoning, salt, and sugar. Let's give it a go. I have left it a long time. The fries are now cold. It's not their fault. I spent like a good 10 minutes filming this food and then chomping down the chicken. I should have ate this first. Despite the fact that they're, they've now gone cold, they're actually not bad. Really nice. Very different. 
Who would have thought salt and sugar in fries would work? I know it sounds rank, but it actually works. Let's try the ranch dressing. I did try the ranch dressing last time. And I thought it was, well, from the top of my memory, I thought it was okay. Let's try it with the mango habanero boneless wings. That's not bad. So funnily enough, my opinion of which type of chicken I enjoy most has changed. In the previous video, my favorite were the tenders. But this time around, my favorite is actually the wings. That's actually proven to me that it's not necessarily about whether you get wings, whether you get tenders, or whether you get the boneless wings. I think it's more about the actual flavor you get because when I got these with the mango habanero it's absolutely dead um, if that was like the only piece of chicken I had basing it on that I would say Wingstop is overrated overhyped but yeah if you come here you need to actually try different flavors having said that guys you know I'm gonna go in on the price I spent 23 pounds 80 on okay 8 16 19 pieces of chicken so you get three pieces for the tenders eight minimum this is a minimum so the minimum is three for the tenders eight for the wings and eight for the bonus wings and i just think that's absolutely shocking i mean yeah it does taste good but i think i would have a better experience going to morley's or or chicken cottage or something like that so i think the verdict's in overall my experience has improved. I'm not gonna lie, it has improved. If you've got money to waste, if you don't give a damn about like budget or whatever, and you just wanna enjoy yourself, then yeah, come to Wingstop. But guys, 23 pound 80, this price is a madness. So I'm gonna base it on value. Like I'm not blown away. It's good, but it's not like, it's not to die for. So on that basis, I would give it a miss. Now there's no way I'm gonna actually finish all this. Look what I've got there. There's just no way. I only did this so that I could give you guys a fair judgment of the face. If I'm basing it on flavor, I'll give it a hit. But if I'm basing it on price, it's a miss. But yeah, that's my run over, guys. I've got a nice little bag to take away. Take all these wings away. And probably finish it over the course of two or three days. Because that. Uh, yeah, this is gluttony at its finest. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's probably going to be the last time I do Wingstop. Actually, no. No. They actually have um, some desserts as well. They got churros. They got some they got some flavors with the churros and something else. So I might I might come back and just do one on their dessert offerings. If you would like me to do that, let's try and get at least 100 likes for this video. If you can do that, then I'll come back and touch simply on their desserts. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this review. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, comment below, share the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So, till next time, peace. Perfect.